We all know that dinosaurs could be a little bit dangerous and would probably cause us trouble if they still existed. Otherwise, the Jurassic Park movies would have been a touch boring. But of all the dinosaurs that ever did exist, which ones would have caused us the most trouble if we had actually been unlucky enough to share the Earth with them? These are the most dangerous dinosaurs in the world. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. <sighs> Number 12, Ankylosaurus. Right, you're gonna be hearing a lot of big, confusing words in this video, so brace yourself. First up is Ankylosaurus, and no, that's not Latin for I have a sore ankle. It's the name of our first dinosaur. Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. They belong to the family of Ankylosauridae and are classified as reptilia. They could grow in length to about 9 meters and weighed over 6,000 kilograms. The fossils suggest that they were alive during the Cretaceous period in the western part of North America. A complete skeleton of the species has not yet been discovered, so illustrations of what they look like are somewhat rooted in guesswork, meaning they could be inaccurate. But at the very least, we have some kind of idea of what they may have looked like. This dinosaur was heavily armored, which would help in defense and attack at the same time. Of course, when we say armor, we don't mean Knight of the Round Table style chainmail, as awesome as that would be. We mean their skin was notoriously tough, giving them an added sense of danger. Now it's time for the rare topic. This image right here is a CG reconstruction of a fascinating creature known as the Sarcosuchus. Now, technically speaking, the Sarcosuchus is not a dinosaur, which is why we've pulled it aside as our rare topic. But what is it? It's actually a lot more terrifying than a dinosaur. This is a dinosaur-killing crocodile. It's a very distant relative of modern crocodiles living 112 million years ago. These massive things were known for being able to take on dinosaurs in fights and sometimes even win. They could have given some of the dinosaurs in this video a run for their money. The Sarcosuchus could reach a length of 37.7 feet and a colossal weight of 18,000 pounds. There are bite marks on fossils proving how much damage these things could do to dinosaurs as terrifying as the T-Rex. These crocs would take out dinos with a finishing move called a death roll. This move sees the croc hold their prey tight in their jaws and then spin their body, ripping off the flesh and limbs in the process. Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and we will pin the best comment in relation to this image. And now to the next topic. Number 11, Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus means flesh crocodile. They happen to be very distant relatives of crocodiles and are said to have lived around 112 million years ago, back when Betty was just turning 50. These are perhaps the biggest crocodiles to have ever lived with their fossils found in Africa. They are classified as reptilia and belong to the family of Philidosauridae. They are believed to have been as long as a city bus, which is well over 12 meters, and they weighed in over 8 tons. The mere skull was the size of a fully grown male human. One bite and you disappear. Number 10, True Don. These happen to be small dinosaurs resembling a bird and are said to have lived during the late Cretaceous period. Their fossils were first discovered in 1855 in North America. More species were discovered in Texas, New Mexico, and Wyoming. The name means wounding tooth. They are classified as reptilia and belong to the family of Trudontidae. They are said to have been around 2.5 meters in length on average and could weigh over 50 kilograms. Like I said, they were small, but the smaller they get, the deadlier they get as well, at least in most cases. Number 9. Chronosaurus. The name means Lizard of Kronos, which sounds like something from Skyrim, but is apparently real. They were named after the Greek leader called Cronus. These dinosaurs had a short neck, but don't let their limited swallowing ability fool you. They were still pretty dangerous and not to be messed with. They are classified as Sauropsida and belong to the family of Pliosauridae. They reached the length of 13 meters, but would usually average around 9 or 10 meters. They were equipped with large teeth exceeding a length of 7 centimeters. The largest of its teeth reached a length of 30 centimeters, so these guys had one heck of a bite on them. Number 8. Allosaurus. These guys lived during the late Jurassic period around 155 million years ago. The name Allosaurus means different lizard. 
nice and specific. They're classified as reptiles and belong to the family of Allosauridae. They are said to have a large skull with several sharp teeth and averaged around 9 meters in length. If there's one thing a lot of these dinosaurs had in common, it's seriously intense chompers. I would not want to have to brush those things. It would be like trying to wipe plaque off a razor blade. Some studies suggest that they could reach the length of 12 meters. They had a heavy tail suggesting greater balance. They've been estimated to weigh in at around 2.3 metric tons. Just imagine one of these bad boys chasing after you. You wouldn't stand a fighting chance. Number 7. Amphicelis fragilimus. Lots of dinosaurs have an absolute mouthful of a name, and the Amphicelis fragilimus is no exception. The literal translation is bioconcave, and they were, simply put, really super long. They were, at their longest, the longest known vertebrates to have ever existed, with lengths averaging between 40 to 60 meters and weighing around about 122 tons. To put that into a little perspective, one ton is around 2,000 pounds, so one Amphicelis fragilimus weighed 244,000 pounds. The heaviest known man living at the time of this video is only 974 pounds by comparison. Must be nice for him to know that there's something bigger than him. Classified as Reptilia, they belong to the family of Diplodocoidea. Number 6. Cynosauropteryx Another dinosaur, another difficult name to pronounce. I'm just gonna call them the Scary Boys. The Scary Boys' true name translates to Chinese Reptilian Wing. They were a Compsognathidae dinosaur, which means they were small carnivores, generally conservative in form, and hailing from the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. They, much like the Archaeopteryx, have bird-like features, and that's what initially inspired the ideas, way back when, that there may be a connection between old-school dinosaurs and modern-day bird. The Scary Boy was the first dinosaur not included in the Aviali evidence to have wings. They had furry coats of feathers, long tails, and short arms, and were considered to be close relatives of the, and here we go with the tricky words again, Compsagnathus, relatively cute dinosaurs about the size of a modern-day turkey. Presumably Fred Flintstone and co. would eat those for Thanksgiving. That was a joke. We know cavemen wouldn't celebrate Thanksgiving. Please don't mention it in the comments. You're gonna mention it in the comments, aren't you? <sighs> Whatever. Let's get back on topic. Both the Scary Boy and the, what I'm now going to call, Little Turkey Fellas, belong to the family of Compsognathidae. They lived in the northeastern part of China during the Cretaceous period, and were the first dinosaurs to be discovered from the Yixian Formation. Many aspects of their biology are illustrated with the help of well-preserved fossils. Number 5. Velociraptor You are no doubt aware of the Velociraptor. They had a central role in a tiny little indie film called Jurassic Park that you may have heard of. That franchise would have clued you into just how big of a nuisance and potential threat these guys would have been back in their day. They may have been small, but much like somebody who's camping, they were intense. The name Velociraptor means Swift Caesar, an apt way of describing just how fast yet deadly they could be, and also a great name for a rock band. The Swift Caesar were said to have lived just over 75 to 71 million years ago and were part of the late Cretaceous period. Their fossils were found in China and Mongolia. They're classified as reptilia and belong to the family of Dromaeosauridae. They could weigh up to 15 kilograms and would grow in length up to 2 meters. Though they might seem potentially harmless considering their size and weight, they would usually attack in herds and that's where the problem starts. Besides, they're really fast. Like, really fast. Usain Bolt fast. Petro Maximoff fast. Barry Allen fast. How quickly can I disappoint my mother fast? Number 4. Liopleurodon. We've discussed the Liopleurodon in one of our other videos about underwater monsters, and there's no doubt in our mind that they were truly one of the deadliest and most dangerous dinosaurs to have ever existed. They were also one of the most dangerous sea creatures to have ever lived. The name means smooth-sided teeth, and they were marine carnivorous reptiles. They belonged to the family of Pliosauridae. They lived during the Middle Jurassic period and could grow to the enormous length of 25 meters. Their fossils were mostly found in England and France, and one of the species is known to have existed somewhere in Russia. They had four strong limbs, which indicate them to be really powerful swimmers. A study shows that this body structure would provide excellent acceleration if not top speed. Simply put, if you were underwater with one, you would want to get away from it as fast as you could. Suitable bath time buddies, they were not. 
Number 3. Tyrannosaurus Rex It was inevitable, but of course we're gonna end on the Tyrannosaurus Rex, aka the T-Rex. One of the most iconic dinosaurs of all time, thanks to Steven Spielberg cementing their place in history by making them a major feature in the Jurassic Park movies. It worked for Velociraptors, it worked for Jeff Goldblum, it worked for the T-Rex. We are all incredibly familiar with the name Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like David Bowie, Beyonce Knowles, or Sherlock Holmes, it's just one of those names that everybody knows. But just like every other dino on this list, their name means something else. Tyrant Lizard. Now, if that doesn't sound like the name of one of Dr. Neocortex's crazy creations, we don't know what does. The fossils suggest that these guys used to live in western North America some 67 million years ago. They, like most of the more dangerous dinosaurs, are classified as reptilia and belong to the family of, and I swear if I have to say one more hard word I'm gonna slam my head against my desk, Tyrannosauridae. They could grow over 12 meters in length and would usually weigh over 6 metric tons. Again, time for a little weight perspective. One metric ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms, or 2,205 pounds. That's two times as heavy as the tongue of a blue whale, two and a half times heavier than a giraffe, and three times as heavy as a rhinoceros. On a side note, if anyone has a measuring scale for sale, uh, please let us know, we just broke ours. Despite their size and weight and the significant length of their tail, they had infamously small arms. They, sadly, could never join in with, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So while they may have been one of the most dangerous dinosaurs to ever live, at least there was no danger of them grabbing you or tickling you. Eating you? Sure. Stomping on you? Yes. But grabbing you? Nah. Number 2. Dino Tail in the Water Three hugely important events happened in 2008 that shook the world. The first Iron Man movie was released. Barack Obama was elected to office. YouTuber Sea Monsters Videos uploaded the following video, which seems to show the tale of a not-as-dead-as-it's-supposed-to-be dinosaur. All of equal importance. Those who want to believe are adamant that this is some type of prehistoric marine lizard with a three-pronged tail. Not at all worrying. However, there are those out there with a more skeptic viewpoint. The non-believers would have you think that this is nothing but a seal, though I have to say, it looks way too big to just be a seal. And the three-pronged nature of the tail, that looks straight up terrifying monster or dinosaur to us. The other theory being put forward by skeptics, who just love to ruin everything with their quote-unquote logic, is that it's just a manatee. And as for the three-pronged tail, they think it's just a regular tail that's been injured by a collision with a boat propeller. It's a well-thought-out theory, we'll give them that. But if you slow down the footage, it really does look like an actually three-pronged tail. As there are no details on where the footage was taken, it's difficult to comment further. However, one thing is for certain. Whatever the creature is, it's big. What do you think? Could it actually be some sort of prehistoric beast? Or perhaps even some sort of animal yet to be discovered? Or is it just loads of otters clumped together in a weird formation? Let us know what you think it might be in the comment section below. Number 1. Canadian Velociraptor It's the briefest of clips, but this footage captured by a Canadian photographer seems to capture something incredibly interesting. What appears to be a little Velociraptor aw, darts across the screen, shooting from left to right. Did you catch it? While there's every chance it's just an ordinary lizard or a really ugly baby, when you watch it in slow motion, it certainly looks like what we've been told Velociraptors look like. 